Hello guys, welcome to this video. Um, this time I'm gonna explain and I'm gonna show you what I just got. So I got this mid ETX 90 RA. So that means this one don't have a go to computer and uh, and it doesn't have motors that control the right ascension, uh, the, the right ascension movement. So this one's only mounts like this. So the, this will be as a equatorial mount if you put it like this, 90 degrees. Uh, and then like that to polar align it and then from here you will you will go to find the object like let's see like from here you will turn it and then either go here and this one has a motor here there is a tracking motor it's like a clock that if you turn it on this one will rotate and keep the object into the field of view at all times like let's say I got Jupiter in the eyepiece I turn the switch on and this will uh, move itself throughout the night but uh, you will have to find manually all the objects by moving this and then yeah so I just want to talk about a common problems this telescope have and this one does have but not that bad so I show you just remove it from the legs these are the legs um, so this this telescope um, they have a common problem well the older versions not the new ones they have a problem that I don't know if you can see here this uh, this mirror has a buffle that the glue that me the manufacturer used back in the time to put this on that glue is not a good quality so if you leave this telescope in a in a hot car during the summer or just by having it uh, sitting in a case or if you have it let's say you have the telescope like this uh, when you store it so the gravity will pull the baffle down and that will cause to slip uh, it will slip down so the problem is that there is a point where the baffle gets in the way of the light of the vision that you will see in the in the eyepiece so then you will have problems on focusing or even you just won't see nothing right on so i don't know how to fix this yet i may try to but uh, if i succeed if i if i success to do that I will post it note that in the channel but um, basically what you have to do you have to unscrew this so this one I don't know it was used I uh, screw it I mean it was tied you gotta unscrew it let me show you guys you have to be careful with this you don't want this okay look This is the piece. If you see, I don't know if you can tell, but this part right here has slipping down because it's. Let me see. Yeah, it sits like like this normally. So what it happened is that this part has moved down. See, I don't know if you can tell. So this part, you have to somehow, with a. Uh, a uh, hair blower or a heat gun you have to heat this part and you can push it with your fingers back into place but that I heard I seen a post that that won't fix it like permanently so over the time this will sleep so let's say you fix it let's say you 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 fix this problem the way I'm telling you that I guess with a heat gun you use Put it back in place you will need to store your telescope 90 degrees that way this baffle won't slip either to down to the sides or up, whatever because the position of the telescope and this is a common problem this version 
like the older version of the 90 have and uh, you don't find much information on how to fix it and uh, if you commit a mistake you make uh, you may ruin this mirror right here and then you're done like if you ruin it you're done you will need to I don't know what you will need to do but the, the easiest and cheapest will, will be to find an optical tube assembly like this and just take this part out and replace it and try again because I heard that the new 90s the ETX 90s this part doesn't fit here so that's the problem with this this telescope i'm gonna see if i can fix it myself and if if i do it successfully i will post a new date in this channel um yeah because you don't find much information about this model remember this model uh got the right ascension knobs in here and you get this to move it and i uh, yeah and then it's all the same like the, the the tube is the same as the new ones you put your camera back here the flip mirror you don't have a bar low but you can put the bar on top of here and, and yeah so see you guys in the next video and uh yeah that's everything bye bye